Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Big Workshop. We are going to try to figure out why this was yelling at us. I still have no idea why, so let's try to make some more. Let's try to make some more tall drawers, see if it still yells at us. Let's do five more. That'll be a good test. And in the meantime, let's make another break room. We're just going to split this up now into another break room. This will probably be easiest. Just so that we're not wasting a lot of like space and money, I guess. Like I don't have to buy another plot and add on more walls and things like that. I can just pretty much divvy this area up and be good to go. All right, let's move all this. Let's see, how do we move this? Actually, let's maybe move this like that. We'll do these ones back to back like this because then I'll put a wall this way for a break room. All right, let's go over there with this one. There with that one. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's go. Let's go like that. Okay, which ones do I have left? This one, I think I'm going to end up selling. I think I'm going to end up selling two of these. Just totally fine by me. So let's sell this one and sell this one. And then we will add a wall. Where is that? Remodel. Add a wall. Actually, we wanted to do one out. There we go. And then we just need a door right in the center. Which I guess we have to wait for all of these shelves to go. There we go. There you go. Get them out. Get them out. And then door. Beautiful. And now we have spies. Are you a spy? Who's a spy? I heard it. Alright, who's a spy? Who's a spy? Wait, I heard that too. I missed it. Oh. No. It's gotta be one of you. Oh, I see you. Get out of here. Oh, you too. Green guy. You're out. Wait, did you just take a picture? You did not. You were just dancing. All right, sorry. Get back to work. Oh, see you. All right. Look for people that are alone. They're the fishy ones. Three more, three more. Come on, someone. I'm missing three of you. Wait. Who's that? Was it this guy? No. Who the heck was that? I heard him. Alright, who is it? You're, you're... Alright, it's pulling that stuff again. You know what? You know what? I'm, I am tired of hearing that noise over and over. So, we are just going to put a general zone right in the center. Right in the center. And if you don't like it, tough. You can trip on this material since you won't use the shelves. I don't know why these won't go on the shelves. This should be materials for anything that's going to be in woodworking. These items are for things in woodworking. If it's not for woodworking, it's for assembly, then you use these. I don't get it. They just like to complain. All right, who's left? Looking for these spies. Might be you. Is it you? Why are you way out here? Aha. Gotcha. All right. Ooh, it's got to be you too. Why are you way out here? Yeah, get out of here. All right, who else is alone? Who else is alone? Oh, Jesus. He's on fire. It was sabotage, I tell ya. All right, where's this last worker? Or this last spy? All 
Right, spy? Spy? Okay, it's not you. For sure. Spies also won't ever have these little emotes above them, I don't think. Maybe it's you. Is it you? Nope. Alright, who is it? Who is, who's our spy? If I see anyone in metalworking, it's definitely going to be them. Because nothing is happening in metalworking right now. Oh, come on. Someone pull out a radio. Is it you? I think it's you. Is it you, buddy? No. I don't think it is. Oh my god, who was this last spy? Alright, well, let's get another... Can we get another break room? Oh, we can't. We're gonna run out of money if we do this. Venetron. You know what? We can probably do it after... Hmm... No, no, let's just do it now. Because we're making drawers, so we should be fine. It's going to take us a bit, but... It's going to take us a bit to build back up, but if we get another break room going, we'll have enough break points that we can do two different orders at once, hopefully. Where's this last spy? Alright, let's speed up a little. Great, right, it's not you, it's not you. It's you. Yeah, it's you. Get out. Give me that money. Okay, now we can make that break room. Nice. Coffee machine. And then let's get a table in there. Come on, let me put the table. All right, we'll rotate it. Eh. You know what? We'll put it. We'll put a table. A table there. A table there. Order. There we go. That should really increase our break points. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. Now we can get to work on these tall drawers. And then once these get delivered, we'll make tall drawers again and more hoverboards. I think. Actually, what's in the market? Anything, anything? 77 hoverboards, 71 drawers. What? How are you supposed to flood the market? They're just, the demand's going up way too fast. Ooh, we can make hoverboards for this person. Oh, oh. How many days we got? We had three days. Oh, that is so doable. Oh, that is ready. Let's just execute. Let's go. We got this. Alrighty. We're gonna be hurting for money for a bit at first. As soon as these drawers get done though, we should be golden. Cause these hoverboards I think might pay a decent amount. I didn't check the contract again. Thirteen thousand. Wow. That is not bad for these hoverboards. Not bad, not bad. See, now they're putting all the metal over here. I don't want that. But I had to make this general area because they kept complaining about the wood. I want this metal up here. Uh, it really should be the other way around. It should be if there is a dedicated work zone, it should go to that first. If there is no dedicated work zone, it should go to a general zone. And if there's no general zone for some reason, it should just go on the floor anywheres. But that doesn't seem to be the case. It just seems to be, oh, that's the closest to the truck. Let's move everything there. Ugh. That is not what we want. There's drawers and shelves right here. What are you doing to me? All right, one more, one more drawer unit. Someone assemble that thing. It's missing like one panel. Please, someone. Someone, make it. It's, it's, right, right. Right th there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Make us our money. Make us our money, please. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can catch up on these hoverboards. 
See, this is what I like to see. The metal workers know what's going on. Look at this. Metal ingots all stacked up, the little hoverboard, whatever these are, the actual tops of the hoverboards, all good to go. Why can't the woodworking shop get their shit in order? They don't know what they're doing over there. Instead, they're all just taking a break at all times. All right, let's make sure none of the... Let's repair these machines. Let's repair all the woodworking machines since we're not using them at this point. All right, that should be good. All right, we're catching up. There we go. Now we're ahead of schedule. All right, do we have all the boards made? We do have all the boards made. So that... Ooh, phone ringing. Oh, furniture designer and coffin. Oh, he's obsessed with these chairs now. Maybe I should just make it so he stops bugging me. Let's make more drawers again. They still pay a good amount, so I will gladly keep making drawers. And the hoverboards are first in line, and we already made the tops of the hoverboards, so that should not affect woodworking at all. All right, so things look to be working out. Breakpoints are not really taking a hit at all now. We're actually generating 17 plus 27 plus 45. That's a lot of breakpoints we're generating, and we can generate a total of... I thought there was a way to see. Let's see, breakpoints. 11. So we were at 18 before. So now we're at, what is that, 25? Wow. So we almost... Increased our breakpoints by 50% just by adding that one break room. That is not bad at all. That should definitely stop people from passing out. We should always stay above 5, I would think, at this point. Even with everyone working. Oh, crap. We need these hoverboards to finish before we go bankrupt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If I have to, I'll sell this stuff down here. Come on, people. Assemble the, the hoverboards. Okay, they're still working on drawers, which is fine. All right. So this is just waiting for the actual drawers and then the side panels. We'll have to deliver one of those drawer units immediately to get that stuff going. Ooh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. Oh god, please don't go bankrupt. Please don't go bankrupt. Please don't go bankrupt. 3,300. There we go. Sell one. That'll buy us just enough time. Get it out. Get it out. Thank you. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, he's on the verge of going out of business and making a bunch of people lose their jobs. The good old American dream. All right, we need more drawer units made, people. All right, there's one made, so we got one in reserve. Try to get another one. There we go. That's two. Looks like we're almost there. And one more? One more? No, we just have to deliver. If we wait, we're not going to make it. Come on, load them, load them, load them. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, and now the last one. All right. And that's with us doing hoverboards, so the hoverboards are definitely going to help. There you go. Can we make more? We can't. We don't even have enough money to make another five drawer units. Oh, boy. That's not good. That is not good at all. All right, let's get these hoverboards finished. Give us a nice little payday. And get us a good amount of experience, I hope. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just final assembly stages, it looks like. And... Nice! Deliver! Burp, burp. Ooh, what truck is that? That's a nice truck. All right, hoverboards are loaded. 13,000, nice, thank you. So that gave us a decent amount of XP. Not a ton, but a decent amount. 
What other challenges have we got? 8,000 coin. We need something that pays really well. That pays really well, but making robots is a pain in the butt. Although, it was a pain in the butt because I wasn't distributing everything right with the batch process now. It might be fine. It might be fine. You know what? Let's do it. It's only six units in four days. And we already had it set up. I think we should be good. So this is for metal. You know what? Since we're just going to focus on this, let's split things up. Let's have that there. This is somewhere there. Let's get assembly bro broken up into different sections. Just make use of all of our assembly tables. Okay, that's there. I think all this should be set. I'm trying to think of what wouldn't be set. Okay, it looks like everything else should be pretty much good to go. Alrighty. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, people. Those are... Ooh, those got to be repaired big time. And then the glue stations, and that should be good. Let's go! Let's make some bots. Go, go, go. Make the bots, make the bots. Alright, so it looks like they just offload here, and then they start repositioning everything. At least it gets something for the haulers to do, I think. Yeah, then the haulers move it all over here. I guess that's fine. You know what we could do? We could also expand this area right here and just make this like a drop-off point. That's always an option, just so that way things are quickly dropped off and then the haulers come and distribute it throughout the factory as needed. Oh wow, we are really had a schedule with these bots. Oh, this is gonna be such a nice payday. Oh yeah, probably helps having like 10 assembly stations right now and having everything nice and evenly distributed. It also helps that we only have to make six and not something like 20. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go way ahead of schedule. Come on, come on. A lot of people on break, but we're ahead of schedule, so I can't be mad. No one seems to use this break tape, this break room. Oh my god, could you imagine if you had to make bathrooms as well? Oh, and have like maintenance crew make sure the bathrooms don't overflow and stuff. That actually might be pretty fun. I probably would not mind managing that. There's other aspects of this game I don't care for, but I would not mind managing bathroom time. Takes me back to the days of Roller Coaster Tycoon where you make people pay five bucks to use the restrooms in that game. What are you doing over here? You're just hiding, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I know your game. All right, two more bots. And we are good to go. Come on, assemble these bots. Assemble it. Oh, come on, you put all the parts there, just assemble the dang thing. Thank you. One more bot. All right, and you should assemble it. Perfect. Deliver. Oh, that's going to be nice money. Nice, nice, nice money. Nice. Shady deals. All right. Market. What else do we got for challenges? Couldn't make skis. You know what? Do we try just try to knock all this stuff out? We're so big now with all of our machines and our workers. I think we can knock a lot of this out. No problem. Let's just go for it. Let's knock it all out. All right, I f have a feeling these skis are gonna go super quick too, just like those bots. All right, let's just watch these workers. Look at that, look how fast it's going. Already a quarter done. Ooh, 
What is this? Mini boats. Oh, oh, I keep thinking that the bottom number is the price that it pays out. And I got so happy and then I only saw it was nine grand. I was like, eh, nine grand's not much. Ooh, 17,000 for chairs. Chairs are kind of annoying to make though. Just because of the sewing station and then the bottom legs are usually metal. Especially with the strength of 44. And those tend to be a little bit annoying to make. I mean, at least it's not like the wooden legs like on the table where you have to bend 450 pieces of wood. That takes forever. But I think the chairs aren't far off from that with the metal. Alright, 6 out of 15 skis. Why is this not moving too much? All right, there's way too many people on break. Huh? See, this is what I don't get. Why are there 14, 15 idle workers? And there's nothing being done on machinery. Nothing's being done. Nothing's being assembled. And it's not like it's waiting on advanced machinery. Because then I could understand it. Like, maybe the advanced workers are currently on break. So it makes sense why things would be halted. But when we're just waiting for general assembly... Why are, are like 10, why are like 10 general workers not helping out with that? Okay, kill her with what? We don't want these stinking chairs. Get off of it. Actually, how much do the chairs pay? 12 grand? Eh, I don't feel like making his chairs. He keeps bugging me. That's rubbing me the wrong way. The more he keeps calling and be like, make me chairs. I kind of don't want to do it. All right, two more skis, two more skis. All right, one more, one more. And, 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 uh, come on, the parts are there. Just go assemble it, there you go. Deliver. All right, let's go. Give me that money. Give me that cash money. Six grand, not a whole lot, but we did it for the rep. All right, should we make this guy's chairs? Oh, we could. We already have the plan assembled. And everything is just about perfect, so. You know what? Screw it. He keeps bugging me. Here, have your stinking chairs. Have your stinking chairs. All right, people. See, this is what I like to see. No real idle workers. Everything's being used. I just don't get why we're usually in the final stages of assembly for some stuff. And we just end up having like 15 idle workers. Like now. The idle worker count's just shooting through the roof. Oh, wow. What is happening with this? Why is this... So what is going on with this? Hook hand. Waiting for task. Okay, so that's just assembly, so that should be fine. I was wondering if maybe we had to break some stuff up with these assembly tables, but it looks like only the final part is assembly. There's no, like, intermediate assembly portions. See, like this. We're just falling way behind schedule because no one is doing anything. Why? Oh, this is this is just getting on my nerves with this game. I don't get it. The only thing that seems to function as like scheduled is when I do maintenance. I'll click something for maintenance and within 10 seconds someone's working on it. But as far as everything else, like only one person right now is making a chair. Why? Why is, so they're waiting on the designer chair, what was that, the legs? And we're waiting on something. What are we waiting on for that? Here, we're waiting on this. Oh, let's split this up. Here, split this up. Move that there. Split this up. Move that there. Let's overdrive these. Because we are falling behind on those. Oh my god, we are so behind on this. This is ridiculous. We made six chairs. That is 
was terrible. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of all these materials. Get it out. Throw it in the dumpster. Ugh. How annoying. How annoying. Alright, what does this take for this chair? Oh, I didn't even know we could drag that stuff around. What? Alright, so what is this process? See, here we go. It's cutting this a ton to get 75 of this, and then we're pressing it? Eh. Could make metal. I don't know if we want to do that either. We could bend a whole bunch of stuff. 75 bend operations. Okay, that's just delivered. This should be all the cushions and stuff. Even more cushions. Why can't I select that? There we go. Really hurting on the strength. What? Wait, what? What would even give us strength? Eight to nine strength. Six to seven strength. Oh, there's plastic in that. E. I mean, we could do better metal. That would barely help. You know what? He's not, he's, not, he's not getting those chairs. He's just not. No. No. I don't like that guy. I don't like this guy. Ooh. This is already set up. Maybe we do this. All right. Let's break up this assembly. Use both of these. Final assembly will be these five. Okay. Let's do this plan then. All right, get to work, get to work. I swear, if I see idle workers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go insane. I'm going to go insane. No, oh, come on. You're really getting on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've outgrown a subsidiary. Nice. What am I in? Like eleventh place now. Oh, we're in seventh. Nice. Not bad. What were we in? Ninth or tenth before? All right. I'll take it, I'll take it. We're slowly expanding. Hmm, I wonder if at any point we should start specializing some of these people. So what are these? These are assembly specialists. Ooh, maybe I need more assembly specialists. Maybe that's it. More specialists, less general workers. All right, let's do it then. Let's try to get six of each. So then four metal workers. There we go. Right, so we should have two haulers, which is fine. Six assembly, six wood, six metal. Okay. We'll see how this works. We'll see if maybe this evenly divides the shop a little bit better. So there aren't as many idle workers. We'll see. I doubt that's going to fix anything. Besides, you know, make us go more in debt because specialists earn more. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Maybe they just needed motivation with extra pay. I know that would help me. All right, nine out of 15. Wow, that's really cruising. This might be just a simpler recipe though. I don't know if doing all those specialists helped at all. Probably didn't. The break points definitely help because we were hovering around six there and without this extra break room, probably would have had people passing out right there. All right, some of that and one more. There we go. Deliver. Get it out, get it out. Beautiful. Finish those challenges. Nice. Nine grand. 
Not a whole lot of money, but hey, I'll take it. What else? More snowboards, more skis. You know what? Let's make some more skis. Because we can definitely do that pretty quick. We will make more skis and then hopefully that'll get us to level. And we will go from there. Let's see. Is there anything I can break up? Make sure there's not something I'm missing with this. Because I think this is what screwed me last time. Is this linked to anything? Here, let me link this. There we go. That way that issue doesn't happen again. I think that's what put us behind on that chair contract. Dang, already a quarter way done with skis. I like it, I like it. All right. Idle workers through the roof again. Although now I think it's because they're waiting on different parts. So, okay, so here's a quote. What are they waiting on now? We have all the skis made. We are waiting on ski bindings, which are where exactly? Am I making ski bindings out of wood? Huh, ski bindings, hello. Oh boy. Um Does anyone see ski bindings? Or did the ski bindings just like come in? Did I not have to order ski bind or like make them? Did they just come in assembled? What? I really wish I could see this recipe. Wait, no, it has to be here then. Oh, here we go. I don't have this. Oh no, it is distrib- Why isn't this distributing? What? Here we go. Let's split this up then. Something got wacky with this. It's probably because I added another station and never split it up correctly. Or like reassigned it to the billboard correctly. There we go. That should help move that along. Now two stations will make the ski bindings. I mean, we have plenty of time. We're definitely ahead, so that shouldn't cause too much of an issue. Wait, aren't these? Oh, I forgot the specialists only have to use the advanced ones, so that's why these metal workers over here, or the woodworkers over here working on metalworking, because this isn't strictly metal workers only. Only the advanced machines are the advanced workers only, the specialists only. All right, come on, make the bindings. We're so close. 80%, 82, 84, 82, 84, 83. All right, this is taking forever. There you go, two at once. See, again, this is where I just don't get... I think the way the game does it is... So this is going to finish immediately. I think immediately what happens is the game decides, okay, pick a worker, have them work on this, and what do they need to do? They need to come over here, grab something, take it back to work on it. So I guess it's... Like, at this point, it hasn't chosen anyone yet? Or maybe it has. Maybe it's like this worker. Maybe it's this worker. So because it's this worker and it's not chosen until that operation is completed... There's so much downtime between each operation. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. They took that item off of there, and then it chose the next worker to then work on it. But because of that, there seems to be like a 10, 15 second lull between each operation that I think just kills us on the bigger projects, especially on the ones that are really time sensitive. When you have that downtime and that's happening on each station, I think that really slows everything down. All right, two more skis. Two more, two more, two more. And one more. Come on, make that binding. Oh, whack a gnome. Whack a gnome. Where are the gnomes? 
Where the gnomes at? Uh, does anyone see the gnomes? I hear them. I think. Maybe I don't hear them. All right, deliver the skis. Get them out. Oh, here are the gnomes. Wait, where'd they go? Are they gonna pop back up? How, how am I gonna get this thing out there? Oh, they have to go all the way around. Are you kidding me? Come on, deliver it. There you go. All right, should be one more gnome around. Oh, there he was. He's in the he's in the metalworking shop. Hey, look at that, we leveled up. Oh, we gotta move this now. Into metalworking. I swear, if that mo gnome moves out of there. Oh, come on, he just came out here. Oh, you. Oh, I do not like that gnome. Come on, move inside the shop. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so he should be popping up in here soon. Come on. There he is. Got him. Nice. All right, and we leveled from all that. Nice, nice, nice. Three research points, so we're either going in plastic production, internship, or direct marketing. I kind of want to do internship just to get an extra worker. Volunteer workers. Yeah, I kind of want to do internship. Although maybe direct marketing will help. So what does this do exactly? Your clients may offer one additional contract at the start of each new cycle. Refresh and renew all general market offers. So this will give us more contracts, which is how we level up. So maybe we do this. So yeah, let's let's do that. So on the next market refresh, we should get more challenges here or more contracts to do. I think that's how I read it anyways. Ooh, kitchen multi-tool. What the heck is this? It's like a kitchen aid combined with a oscillating fan with scissors on the top of it. What? All right. Well, we'll figure everything out on the next episode. I think we made some good progress. I think making all these specialists might actually have helped us. We'll have to do some more testing on the next episode. Maybe we'll go back to drawers and see if we can pump those out even quicker or do like drawers and the hoverboards again and see if we have less idle workers and people always working at that point. But we will test that on the next episode. So until then, take it easy, everyone.